I'm Dr. Legrand, and today we're going to be talking about ADHD nootropics that I currently use to help ADHD. So diving right into it. So I, I'm, there's, there's a lot to cover here. So I'm not going to be able to cover all nootropics, but these are the ones that I currently use for myself and something that I recommend a lot to a lot of my different types of patients and clients. And so the very first one is L-theanine. Now L-theanine is really great because there's quite a few things here that I have found that's very beneficial when I'm working with patients and clients with ADHD. One is that it does increase levels like select neotro, um, neurotransmitters such as GABA and such as serotonin and also dopamine. All three of those are really important when it comes to people's ADHD health. And I have found that L-theanine definitely really benefits this in this area. The other thing is also it does enhance alpha brain waves which alpha brain waves are really important brain waves for relaxation. It can help with the sleep. It can help with really put you in that relaxed mood. Also, what I love about L-theanine, it, it's not, it's, it puts you in that relaxed mode without the sedative effects. Like instead of feeling so drowsy, it helps you with more of those sedative effects. So um, the other thing is on top of that is it can reduce anxiety. And also it can increase attention, focus, memory, and also learning. But the other thing that I want to kind of point out here is show you a little bit more in depth of what's going on in the brain chemistry of why L-theanine is something that I do recommend a lot to a lot of my patients and clients. And so the very big one that I was talking about is the different neurotransmitters. So dopamine, as well as serotonin, norepinephrine, and also even epinephrine, L-theanine can help with this. Also, I didn't put it in here, but also GABA is another one. And what I love about L-theanine, no matter what, if your levels are high or low with your dopamine or serotonin levels and these other levels, L-theanine is great to balance it either high or low. And that's another reason why I really do like this significantly because of how it can actually help within those areas. And then on top of that, the second type of nootropic that I think is really, really beneficial is DL-phenylalanine. Now, some of you guys who've been on my channel for quite some time understand why it's important for to implement DL-phenylalanine. And the big thing is, you know, DL-phenylalanine, um, phenylalanine is really, we can get a lot in our foods, you know, from cheeses, proteins, meats, eggs, fats, but people with ADHD tend to be really deficient. And when we look at the whole neurotransmitter pathway, um, the thing that's interesting, when we look at dopamine, where we all really do focus on a lot when it comes to ADHD, and then of course, norepinephrine, those two, what really gets missed and overlooked a lot is the fact is our PEA. So PEA is something that is a constant, is a precursor to dopamine and norepinephrine. And Phenylalanine is the amino acid, so something like DL-phenylalanine is a type of phenylalanine, and it's the best absorbent phenylalanine to take, but it's a precursor to tyrosine. I know that's a big popular one, but if you really think about it, if you were to take something like DL-phenylalanine, it can help solve with the tyrosine, low tyrosine levels, and then help with dopa, uh, L-dopa, dopamine, norepinephrine, and so on. And so that's always a good place to start, and that's why I highly recommend it. It's something I, I found significantly beneficial for myself and for many other people that I've also worked with, okay? So the, and so that's definitely something you have to look at as far as when it comes to taking something like a particular amino acid like phenylalanine can be really beneficial. Then the third one is 5-HTP. So 5-HTP is something that you have to be a little bit more careful when it comes to ADHD because it can interact with some of ADHD medications. So something you definitely always need to be checking with your doctor, but this is definitely one that has a little bit more of a warning sign um, with it, but it can be very, very beneficial because it can help with sleep, insomnia. It can help with stress and anxiety, depression. And that was supposed to say ADHD. <laughs> Sorry about that. So ADHD is another area, but I want to actually point out how this actually is working when you're actually implementing something like a nootropic like 5-HTP and why a lot of people benefit from this is one, if you look again at the neurotransmitter pathway, 5-HTP is before serotonin. So 5-HTP helps build serotonin levels. 
And if you're dealing with anything with like depression, usually low serotonin levels, you're going to have a depressed mood. And that's very common with people with ADHD. It also can contribute to a lot of the anxiety. It also can contribute to sleep issues because if you are high anxious at night, that can make it difficult for you to fall asleep or stay asleep. And implementing something like 5-HTP can be really, really beneficial. And that is why I find this you know, always beneficial over and over time again, because of what it's doing and knowing and understanding what's going on in the brain when you're implementing something like 5-HTP. Okay. Now, Another great thing to be implementing is different B vitamins. In fact, all the different B vitamins, because all B vitamins are significant to when it comes to your ADHD health. And let me explain why. Because we're talking about all the different neurotransmitters, right? So there's a lot of different neurotransmitters here that need to be addressed when it comes to our ADHD health. The wonderful thing about B vitamins, especially activated form B vitamins, is they are an important role for pretty much every process of neurotransmitter. So let me explain. So going back to all the different types of neurotransmitters, I know this is a lot of information. Let me know in the chat if this is making all sense to you. Go ahead and put that in the chat. Okay, so with this is with the, um, all these different types of neurotransmitters, we have, for example, I've already talked to several about a, a bunch of these. Now you can see this one where it says P5P. This is the activated form of vitamin B6. Basically, that's what it is. It's the activated form. Activated form is important when it comes to these are what we consider as cofactors. So they're they are the helpful process in between each one of these steps of the neurotransmitter. So when we're talking about between L-dopa and dopamine, you need something like activated form of vitamin B6, or you need something like vitamin B2, vitamin B3 for the process of PEA, also dopamine to norepinephrine, you need vitamin B3, and you can see from tryptophan to also 5-HTP to serotonin, all of those are necessary steps when, you know, those are cofactors that we need to be using. And that is really, really important because if we don't have the activated form of B vitamins, guess what? Then we're going to have some backup on a lot of these different types of neurotransmitters. We're not going to be processing like we need to if we don't have that. So that's why I think B vitamins, especially taking like a B vitamin complex is really, really critical. Something you should definitely have in your supplement stacking when it comes to, or your neurotropic stacking is definitely a B complex, especially the activated form. So when you're talking about vitamin B12, take methylcobalamin, that's activated form. And that also helps a lot with these different trans neurotransmitters and brain health. Okay. So the next one that I think that is really, really critical that I really, really like is ginkgo biloba. Now, let me explain why I think ginkgo biloba is probably one of my favorites. I mean, I don't have these tiered in every, any way. I mean, things always are changing. I'm always finding different uh, nootropics that are helpful to me or helpful to my patients. And ginkgo biloba, what I like about this herb specifically is it increases blood flow to the brain. And even when I was in college, I noticed when I would take a high dose of ginkgo biloba, it did make a big difference when it came to my focus. And when I was able to focus, the, the thing that I noticed, the, the biggest thing is when I would take high doses of um, ginkgo biloba is when I would have a professor that would try to, you know, would, you know, talk really, really fast and I'd try to keep up with notes. I, I couldn't keep up. But then when I would actually take ginkgo biloba, for some reason, like I could keep up, I was able to do with the notes. And I felt like that my memory retention and just focus was a lot better when I would be taking high doses of ginkgo biloba. And that is why it's one of my favorite ones as far as implementing. So that is the, you know, number five, as far as when it comes to the different nootropics. Now there's a lot of different nootropics that, you know, I could talk about but I really hope this was beneficial to you. Um, go ahead and put in the chat, did you find this helpful? Next thing is, so I wanna kinda just, uh, before we get into Q and A, I want to ask you guys, would you like further help from me? As you know, one of the biggest things when it comes to uh, my experience, um, trying to go my journey uh, with my ADHD is figuring it out on my own. And going through medical school and continuing education, doing additional continuing education with ADHD, I've spent over, $500,000 when it comes to going through medical school and continuing education. But, you know, for me to understand my own HD brain and how to figure out and help and to optimize my mind. But don't worry. I mean, that's not something that you're going to have to obviously spend. But I mean, most people don't realize this when it comes to untreated ADHD, 
and the cost in a lifetime. It's and this is actually above normal medical expenses from the typical average per person. An ADC person will spend over two hundred thousand dollars more than the average person on medical expenses, which is huge. But again, that's something you're not going to have to obviously you know spend. But the big thing is what I'm going to be providing is a focused mindset strategy session for you. So this is a one-on-one -on -one with me. And so it's a 45-minute one-on-one. And so that session value is $750. And then on top of that, when you do purchase, you actually get access to a questionnaire, which you'll fill out before the call. And so that way I can see where your challenges are. And so you'll be filling that beforehand. You'll um, do that before, and that's $197 value. And then on top of that, if you have any previous labs in the last two years, I will look over those before our actual consultation and interpret that on the call. And so that's a $250 value. So, and then on top of that, there is a bonus. So um, I am offering this only, you know, um, for people who are live and for the first pe five people that actually do sign up. So if you, um, you'll get access to my actually ADHD health course, and that is priced at $297. And so all of this, the total value price and the price of all this together is $1,494, okay? For everything that is also, in, that's all included, including the bonus. Then on top of that, so don't worry, you're not gonna have to pay, uh, pay for that. It's only, I'm cutting that price. So if you are live here um, and watching this, it's only for $197. So all you gotta do is just click on the link in the description. So depending on where you're at in YouTube, or in other places on Facebook, LinkedIn, and other areas that we are uh, live streaming here. So all you got to do is click in the description below to get that offer. So once you, the next steps is basically once you actually click on the link in the description, it will take you to this page. You'll fill out your information, complete the purchase. Then it'll take you to the next page where you will schedule a time, a date, and let me know if there's like right now, like I have a couple spots tomorrow and then, um, you know, next week, I think there's a total of like 10 slots. I only have so many slots I have available, but if for any reason, like none of these times do work for you, just email me and we'll find a time. And it's in that landing page, uh, drlegrand at optimalmindperformance.com that you can email me. So once you do that, you'll put your name info there and what you're coming in for. And then it will take you to this landing page to thank you booking page. You want to make sure to check your email because that will have the confirmation of your appointment, the link to your appointment. Also, it will give you an invite to practice better. And that's really important because practice better is our client portal. And that is where you're going to get access to the questionnaire that you're going to fill out. So you want to make sure to activate your uh, client portal on practice better and then fill out the questionnaire, upload your labs. You're going to upload your labs in practice better and then just make sure to you know show up on time. Uh, block out 45 minutes to 60 minutes. Usually if we need to go a little bit over time, it's no extra additional cost to you. Well, I'll usually will block out usually 60 minutes if we need to, if there's any additional questions. Okay. So again, you just click that in the description below if you want to take advantage. So thank you guys for attending. I appreciate you. And like I said, just click the description in below if you want to take advantage of booking that consultation, getting a customized consultation with me.